Coming up tonight, PNG Pukpuks departed for Hong Kong Sevens. The Russian defense is well organized. Welcome you back. PNG Men's Basketball League launched its 2016 season. AFL PNG host level one coaching. Waste support. Oh. And Super Rugby round six results. Good evening, Papua New Guinea, and welcome to this episode of Sports In. Now, as you can see, I'm by myself. Unfortunately, Lorraine Genian, Dion Kombeng, and Elijah Levet won't be joining us tonight. But we have a massive show lined up for you tonight. Now, we begin tonight's episode with uh, PNG Pukpuks departed for Hong Kong Sevens. Now, here's Lorraine Genian with this story. He may not be a familiar face to the rugby fraternity here in Papua New Guinea, but the university student from Queensland, Australia, has stamped his authority in the national sevens team and he's here to stay. George Mosu first featured in the Inter Tarago squad last year in Singapore and he says he's not going anywhere anytime soon. Yes, you will be. Um, uh, I will be continuing to trial uh, in the PNG sevens, as always. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anything else you have to say? Uh, no, that's all. I'd just, uh, just like to thank the supporters and the sponsors for helping the Pupuk boys and the coach and team management. That's all. Mosu isn't alone. Willy Tarang, a product of the Interworld Turagu 7 Development Program, is also new to the field of things. Representing Papua New Guinea at the world stage isn't the easiest thing, but it is the best thing to happen to any rugby player in the country and it is a responsibility only very few handle quite well. For Tarang, it's an experience he won't take lightly and one he will make the most of. The much more experienced lot in the team, Wesley Valley, Hensley, Peter and Tisa Kautu, will all step up to the plate to assist Captain Henry Kalua leading the team in Hong Kong this weekend. Big game back low, Henry, because I'm a little bit of a new player, young player, so I'm a little bit of a new player, so I'm a little bit of a new player, so I'm a little bit of a new player, so I'm a little bit of a new player. Now also, Willie Tarang is one of the newer guys in the team. What do you think about him coming, you know, straight out of the Sevens program and into the national team? I am coming straight, I'm fitting good on the new player. I've come... Nice player. I didn't blame him. Working in the team yet. Come so I'm gonna look for them. Too I'm look forward. Lo, I'm gonna go on them Hong Kong. So I'm gonna big player one. Lo, all game love. Following his announcement as captain, Henry Kalua is honoured to lead the national team in Hong Kong. The 24-year-old from a mixed parentage of Gulf and West New Britain has been a long-time feature in the national side and a quiet achiever. Taking over captaincy responsibilities from Tissa Kautu is a challenge but one he accepts and looks forward to in the year 2016. And coach Douglas Geis is, of course, no stranger to the team. His plans for the year and the Hong Kong Sevens is simple. I have selected a 15-man team after our trials over the weekend. Try to balance up. The, I think we've got a pretty well-balanced team, a mixture of youth and experience, as well as uh, I've tried to beef up the team a bit more. Uh, so I think I've got a good mix there. It's been over a few weeks of preparations here at home, so culminating with the trials on the weekend. So we'll cut it down to 12 by the end of this week. I keep saying, if we keep doing the same things over and over again as we've been doing with the National Service Program over the last 5 to 10 years, we'll more or less get the same results. We'll all, always be known as the what-if team, so to speak. What if we could have done this? What if we could have done that? So. Like, uh, we need to start beginning and think big. If we want good, big results, we've got to plan big, we've got to start acting big professionally. We can't just be waiting on, like, handouts, okay? We're just going to get the same results. Uh, it's, what do you call it, uh, I think that's the definition of insanity, so to speak. Yeah. So, like I said, uh, when professional men are getting the young fellows on a proper diet, on a proper supplement program, proper high performance training program and I'm sure we'll be get bigger results or more notable results. Now we take a look at uh, PNG Men's Basketball League. Now the PNG Men's Basketball League known as PMBL launched its uh, 2016 season over the weekend. So here's what we have in store for you. <laughs>
The PNG Men's Basketball League opened its 2016 season over the weekend at the Taurama Aquatic Center. It's West Jokers and um, Exodus. I'd also like Tamaros, Saints, Jokers, Chariots, and defending champions Flames were the six registered teams in the competition. On hand to officially open the season was Minister for Mining and Petroleum Ben Micah, who encourages players to train hard and play to the best of their ability, given such world-class facility to train. The minister also challenged organizers and officials to build a level of competition and take it to greater height as Rugby League's Intercity Cup. Most of the players from the PNG men's basketball team came from this competition and it is most likely a handful of young talents will emerge from this competition as the season intensifies over the next few months. In AFL, now AFL PNG held a level one coaching over at the Bissini president. Now the coaching clinic attracted 50 coaches from around the country with participants that took part over the weekend. Now let's take a look. That's a fun you can do with your the level one coaching clinic was aimed to better equip the coaches with the required knowledge and basic AFL skills to further improve the level of the game. Participants were taken through some basic AFL drills and coaching sessions. Uh, we just spent some time out on the out in the sun, out on the oval, uh, and plenty of laughter, plenty of fun, um, and it was just great to see everyone. Uh, Everyone learning, learning how to go about running, uh, running clinics and, and coaching across, uh, across our program, so it was fantastic. With the popularity of AFL in the country yet to reach its full potential, such programs encourages the involvement and participation of coaches and also aims to identify players and set pathways for them to play in Australia. Yeah, so our, our goal is really around uh, educating uh, people in in. Port Moresby, but also across other centres in Papua New Guinea about Australian football, so that they can uh, they can help grow the game locally. So we want to educate people so that they understand how to deliver the skills, how to deliver the programs, uh, and really help us grow the game. Um, and getting those kids to travel to Australia and develop their skills to become better. I think we have a great opportunity uh, here to find good, talented players and uh, help them help them develop and become better players and better people. Ben Drew, AFL Development Manager for South Pacific, said educating people across NCD and other parts of the country. Being that we've been able to engage not just the, the football community but the school, you know, teacher community and uh, the NCDC youth desk with Rex Booker and his team coming in and doing, doing our coaching course. So it's certainly been a big priority for us to upskill and provide workshops not only for our staff but for the community as well. Well, in 2014 International Cup, out of the top 10 in the world that ended up there, five of them were from the Pacific, out of the world. So PNG was one and Fiji was 10th and, and that, did, that doesn't include New Zealand as well. So there's, there, in terms of the rest of the world, it's a very, um, yeah, we're very competitive in the Pacific, which is very exciting. It's always an exciting time when the mosquitoes get to come down and, and there's every chance and we have the female side as well, which Fortunately, we weren't able to get the flames over last time, but we'll be really pushing hard to get the flames over in 217. Uh, Fiji were able to send their Vonu tribe over, and the Tonga ladies were able to come over as well, and they finished, I think, fifth and sixth in their divisions as well, and played against each other, which was a, which was just a bit of an island party, if you, <laughs> to put it with the music and everything. It was a really good fun day, but it's certainly one thing that we are working very hard to do from community level all the way through to, to the, um, the top as well. This program is aimed at growing the interest of the sport in the country. Yeah. 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 Yeah.